Hey everybody, this is Joey, and I um, wanted to talk today about a video I made nine years ago. Nine years ago. Uh, I came across it in my archives, uh, the original uh, video that I took uh, before I uploaded it to YouTube. So, you know, you you, you generate a video and then you upload it to YouTube. Well, that's how you did it in the olden days. Um, I was doing some cleaning on my disk drive and I, I found this file and I just, I watched it. I was like, what is this video? So I watched it. And uh, it turns out that it's a Vlogtober post that I made in 2011. It's called Vlogtober 011 today's topic anarchy and then I'm just reading it off the screen from YouTube uh, in the description I say I talk about why anarchy wouldn't work um, so and it's a, a younger version of me <laughs> and uh, so uh, yeah so I came across the video and I watched the video and uh, I watched it and I'm like Oh shit! <laughs> like uh, because um, not because I disagree with my premise in the video. My premise in the video is anarchy wouldn't work. It's stupid. And um, uh, and if you want, you can watch the video to find out why. But there's a particular thing in the video that I was like, oh, you know, nine years ago, 2011, Joey did not know what 2020 Joey knows, and so. Um, uh, there's a, uh, I, the video itself is, is a response to this guy named Stefan Molyneux. And I don't know that I, if I was responding to a particular video of his or just like him in general, uh, because he's, a uh, uh, back then he was mainly known as a libertarian and, and an anarchist, but like, um, uh, like an, not like an anarchist in a way of, um, uh, he believed in a libertarian utopia, which would essentially be anarchy. There would be no government. And um, uh, so uh, what I didn't recognize back then, uh, because I i mean, there's been nine years of shit going on, uh, the last four of which have greatly informed many people uh, in, in the way the workings of the world. Uh, and unfortunately have not informed a lot of people. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, uh, so in that video, um, I responded to his anarchy staff and said, ah, that's bullshit. And then, um, but I also said, hey, you know, maybe check this guy out. He's got some interesting takes and stuff like that. And uh, uh, check him out. Well, Turns out he's a white supremacist. Turns out he's a racist. Turns out he's a eugenicist uh, and a lot of other stuff, which um, 2020 Joey would have seen that coming from a mile away. <laughs> uh, but 2011 Joey, he didn't see it coming um, uh, because everything this guy talked about seemed very um, uh, straightforward. And, and even then, um, uh, I had an inkling of it back then. Like I, I, I kind of, I never put, I never put it together in the way I would put it together today. Today we would we put things together in you know very different way than we did nine years ago uh, because of context, but. I should have known something was up because for anarchy to work like he says that it should work then you would need to have and I think I explicitly pointed this out in, in the previous video um, for, for anarchy to work the way he said that it should work you would have to have everybody on the same page you would have to have everybody thinking exactly alike and um, 
agreeing on an implicit set of societal rules because we have rules in society because the government makes the rules for us you know and in our society technically although not in practical reality but technically the people we make our own rules and uh theoretically we could you know change our rules or make new rules or do different things uh but uh forgot where i was going with that oh yeah so <laughs> this guy um he he was a big believer in anarchy and and in that kind of anarchy where this the whole society would have the same idea of how the society would run and that's when you're in a clan uh kind of a bad word to use there but when you're in a mm, tribe or it's kind of tribal thinking clan thing clanish thinking that that sort of thing uh that might work where everybody is part of the same kind of family unit uh but when people are not part of the same clan when they're not part of the same tribe then you're going to have disagreements about how the society should be run and this is always going to be the case this is always going to be the case as long as there are humans um we will always uh, have disagreements about how society should handle things and uh, this is why we have governments in place we have governments so that uh, they can resolve the disputes about how society should be run and uh, the government's not always going to do what you want them to do but it's going to do what people in general want to happen so uh, anyway um, all that being said it makes it very obvious now that he would probably be a white supremacist or that he would be a racist because uh, it implied in that view of anarchy that he had of the whole society getting together and having the same set of ideals those are very kind of uh it's very anti-diversity and a, a lot of white supremacists have these kind of views a lot of you know they all have their idea of how society should be run we all have ideas of how society should be run but um if your ideals on how society should be run don't make room for anyone else to have opinions about it that are different than yours, then that's where you start to run into trouble. And that's where you start to have run into racists and white supremacists and eugenicists and all kinds of stuff. So, um, uh, anyway, uh, that's a, a very roundabout way of saying that uh, you know, 2020 Joey has found out that Stefan Molyneux is, is a racist, you know, and uh, 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 eugenicist, a white supremacist, and he's been banned from YouTube, from Twitter, and other social media platforms, uh, uh, and should be denounced uh, by anyone who uh, previously followed him. Uh, for his libertarian ideals uh, should should denounce him and uh, I never really cared for the guy I mean he had like I said he had some interesting takes uh, he had some very well reasoned arguments uh, but uh, ultimately um, not somebody that you want to uh, take it uh, any advice from or uh, really learn much about and I wouldn't know how you would go about doing it even because I don't know <laughs> unfortunately uh, or fortunately maybe <laughs> I don't know where all the racists hang out at online um, so I don't know uh, where I would find his content nowadays 
Um, uh, but I probably wouldn't be looking for it anyway uh, because it's just more of the probably more of the same that he that he had nine years ago and probably more of the same that I've heard the last four years that I'm really tired of. Uh, somehow in this country, in this world, this is not something that's unique to the United States. We need to find some way where we can all get on get along, where we can all uh, agree to disagree and then go about our daily lives uh, without violence, um, without hate uh, and all that stuff. I don't know what the answer is uh, and uh, one of the things that worries me about the future is that we won't figure out what the answer to that is, at least not in my lifetime. Uh, and in fact, we might backpedal a few steps in my lifetime, <laughs> and we already have to a certain extent. Um, but anyway, I, I wanted to to put this video out to uh, uh, denounce that guy and uh, make it clear that um, I don't support him in any way and um, uh, hopefully everyone will be uh, Uh, in the future, hopefully everyone, given the experience we've just had, will have the uh, uh, a little bit better critical thinking, including myself, skills, uh, so that we can we can root out these people uh, and their um, their views, so that they don't uh, infect us with with hatred and and uh terrible thoughts and uh so that's all i got this is like a take number three or four on this video I, I i just wasn't quite getting it right but i think this is a pretty good take and uh hopefully i didn't um uh, say anything too crazy <laughs> uh anyway that's all i got for this time and uh, I'll probably post some more videos in the future. I finally got my camera working and i uh, uh, got a pretty decent setup now. Uh, it's Christmas time. I'm taking some days off. I got a little Christmas tree over there. <laughs> right there, I got my Christmas tree put up. And so um, you'll probably see a few more little videos here of me. Um, uh, talking about some stuff. I, uh, now I've got to go back through all my old videos and see if I've said any racist stuff or <laughs> or um, uh, talked about how great Donald Trump was or something like that in some previous video back before we knew what we know now. Anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.